Hello everybody. Welcome to the Biker Baker and Mr. Smith channel. Today we're going to make butterscotch brownies. I'd never heard of them before, but like I said, I've got this old cookbook that I was going through and there's a recipe in it and I have some butterscotch chips that Mr. Smith had gotten me for the other recipe. So I got a half a cup of those right there. So we're going to start off with a quarter cup of butter. Put that right in there. And this is another shirt that Mr. Smith got me. Look at him. He's got pretty good taste. He can go biker or he can go dressy. So, quarter cup of butter. A cup of brown sugar. Did you guys know that brown sugar was just made with white sugar and molasses? I didn't know that. I'm going to try it though. I'm going to do a video on trying to do some brown sugar myself. I mean, two ingredients. Come on. Probably can't be that hard. Although I might make it that hard, you know. <laughs> How I do. Um, and so a cup of brown sugar and one egg. I'm going to get this egg a little bit because it's been bad. I'm going to beat it. Beat it. All right. Put that down in there. Butter, sugar, and one egg. Mix that all up. And Mr. Smith got me some silicone... Um, whisks. You got me three of them. He is looking out for me on this show. We both love doing it, so we have to have stuff to work with. All right, so after that, we are going to put in three quarters cup of flour. And one teaspoon of baking powder. Make sure it gets all in there. A half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna stir that all up. Whew. I'm getting it everywhere, like I do. <coughs> Oops. Okay. That's going to get thick on you quick. It is. It's not very much batter. We're going to put in a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's it except for nuts and the butterscotch chips, guys. And it's pretty thick. I don't know why. I got everything in there. Everything it says... So we'll see what it is. And I anything to use my new brownie pan. That's what mm -hmm. it's called, actually called a brownie pan. So uh, these may not be very thick. They may be like bars. So we've got about a half a cup of pecans because he wanted pecans. And a half were temperature up to 350 on the oven. Hey, she actually remembered to heat it up. <laughs> And I worked all day, so hey, I remember. And look how cute she looks. Guys, as you know, I'm retiring. And I was supposed to be on vacation next week. I reverted my vacation, so I'm not taking my vacation because I want to save that because I get paid for that in, in the end. So now I have to work Saturday and I have to work over on Thursday and Friday. They're trying to get it all in me before I leave. They're trying to work me. Making you work overtime on your vacation. <laughs> well, I didn't take my vacation, so that doesn't count now. They're going to say, okay, well, we're going to make her work. There's something wrong with that picture. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, I can put up with it for two months. We're all right. This dough is really stiff. It's getting sticking in there. Is it not? 
Does it supposed to have some liquid in it? That's some it's, oil or the butter, something. Butter, quarter cup of butter. That's why I reread it. I was like, okay, so that's what it says. There's no other oils in it. So no milk or nothing. Nothing. I'm like, this yeah. is pretty thick. Yeah, it is. So we're gonna try it. All we can do is just see what comes out. I know it's brownie mix is usually a little thinner. I keep reading it. A quarter cup of butter, which is a half a stick, a cup of brown sugar, one egg, flour, baking powder, salt, vanilla, and nuts. And then watch whenever we get we get it done and be like, uh, they left out an ingredient, which is possible. <laughs> Which is possible. Well, when you make regular brownies, what do you put in it? You put oil in it, but no butter. So, I don't know. We're just going to go for it. Look at this. I don't know. I don't like it. I but... think it'll be good. <laughs> you always are optimistic. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you. Like, I'm like, Arr. Smells and it, good. And it always turns out good, so. Mm -hmm. But that's an awful big pan. It said an 8 by 8 pan. Look at this. Mm -hmm. It's like bars. This ain't working. <laughs> but we're going to go with it, guys. We're going to see what's going to happen. Because this is an 8 by 8 pan. It's too thick to even spread oh, out. Yeah, I don't even have anything. Is there anything uh, here? You just have to keep working with it till you get it spread out. Why don't we pause it and let me look up another... Another... Um, Recipe just to see to make sure. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Mr. Smith spread it all out there. He come from around there. It's really thin, but uh, it's just a small pan. So we're just gonna go ahead and go with it. I didn't change any of the ingredients. If I did, I'd let you know. So um, we're just gonna bake it and we'll see what happens at 350 for it says 20 to 25 minutes. So we'll be back at 25 minutes or so when it gets out of the oven. All right, everybody. I had the uh, butterscotch brownies in the oven for exactly 20 minutes. This is what they look like. They look yummy. They smell yummy, but they're not very thick. It's more like a bar. But if you put these into a smaller pan, it'd be perfect. I would say in like a... Um, a bigger loaf pan and be like brownies for two because um, it's not you're only using three quarters a cup of flour where the regular brownie mix would use two and a half to three cups so i think it would be good for a recipe for two if you want them thicker now if you like them thin that's perfect too so here we are we're going to try it and it's still hot because you know that's what i do Let's try it. Mm, it's chewy. Mm, that's good. I think Mr. Smith would like it with a little bit of ice cream on it too. Or, or some butterscotch syrup. Or, or ice cold milk. <laughs> there you go. You're the milk, <laughs> milk person. I'm not a milk person. Here. I don't know. Can you trust somebody who don't like milk? Hey. I already had somebody say they don't trust somebody who don't like chocolate. <laughs> now, I can eat like the whoopie mm. pies or chocolate cake. I'm getting into where I could. Whoa, this is empty now. Come kind of like mm, that. That's good. But I don't like chocolate ice cream or just chocolate candy. I'm not into that. But. Wow. Yeah? Mm hmm. Uh, so, I guess this is going to be in our cookbook that I'm making for us mm. to put together. <laughs> wow that is really good hey that's a plus then but i but to me i think it should be a little thicker so if i'm going to use this exact recipe you could add more it, ingredients put, right yeah you can you can put more into it but there are other recipes that has more flour and more sugar and all that stuff um but this i would say would be like a recipe for two just in a small mm -hmm. container so this is really yummy, guys. Mm. Wow, it is very good. 
Mm. So I think we're going to like this one. Very tasty. Can you see it? The, yeah. You see the color? Look at the top of that. How looks like all butterscotch. And that butterscotch, like. Yeah. I don't know if it was a chip you added to it or what, but man, is that good. You can taste it. Wow. And he said he had never had a smoothie candy bar. We went to Grandpa Joe's, and uh, it's a candy shop, and got a smoothie candy bar, and he ate every bit of it. I didn't even get a, get a <laughs> bite of it. Didn't you? Did you eat it all? Um, It, it kind of disappeared. I don't yeah. know what happened to it. I'm sitting right beside of him, and I thought, oh, he's going to offer me a piece. Nope. Not even a bite. And I was like, oh, smoothies. I haven't had one in years. Still haven't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got me there because, yeah, you took it. And they have Clark bars, which you can't hardly get. You know, we were looking for them. And what I got on Amazon, I thought they were Clark, Clark bars. But when we got them, they were Clark cups. So it's hard to get Clark bars. So when we went in there, um, I know the guy who runs the place. So he texted me and said, hey, we have Clark bars in. They have a limit of three on them. So I don't know what's going on with the Clark company, whatever, whoever makes <laughs> them. But uh, you need to be making more and then circulating yeah. them out. I don't know if it's like a, a uh, demand kind of thing that makes people want them more because they can't get them. So Probably, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But it was limit of three. So, he got his three. So, I guess I'm done talking for this one. <laughs> I've never done talking. but All right, guys. No. Like, comment, share, subscribe, please, and help us grow. And thanks for watching the Biker Baker Show. Peace out, butterscotch brownies.